Ashland Legion baseball got underway this past week after starting off with a comeback 9-8 win on the road against Tingsboro, Ashland hit the home field against Medford. Top of the second, Medford already up 2-0. They added four more from the stretch. And this is hit in the air to right field. That'll drop in for a hit. Runner being waved around, and that is going to be the third Medford run, an RBI single for White. And this is hit in the air. Two center field, drops down in a shallow center field. One run is around a score as White comes around for the fourth run. Ball delivers, and this is tattooed in a right field towards the fence, drops down, another Medford run is going to score. Tracking it down is Keim, and everybody's safe. 5-0 Medford as Ramassi comes around. For Medford, leg lift and the pitch. This is hit in the air. That'll drop into the glove of the diving left fielder, Jake Obit, a good catch, but runner tagging. Throw in is not in time, and it's 6-0. Ashland got a run in the bottom of the third. Stretch. And this is hit in the air. That'll drop into right field, and Ashland is on the board. 6-1. to one. An RBI single by Holler. Medford ended up taking the victory 8-2. Max Perrazzo got the victory, while Greg Holler the loss. For Medford, Dom Ramassi went 3-4 for four with two runs and two stolen bases. David Center also went 3-4 for four with two runs and an RBI. For Ashland, Michael Krupe went 2-3 for three with a triple and a run. The next day, Ashland took on Sudbury. Bottom of the first, Ashland strikes first. And set to deliver. This is hit in the air. A liner in the center. That'll drop. Run being waved around. The throw home is not going to be on target, and it's one to nothing. Ashland. Nick Burns with the RBI base hit ends up at second base on the throw in. Two to one. Sudbury leading in the top of the seventh until they added a whole lot of insurance. Leg lift and the pitch. This hit on the ground, right side, and will get by Krupe. And another Sudbury run is in, three to one. Burns to the set. And this is hit into left center. That drops down for a base hit. And the runner rounding second, being waved around third. And he is going to come home, and the throw is going to be off the mark. It's four to one Sudbury, an RBI double by Tom Novick. Stretch. This is on the ground, right side, and that'll get through for a base hit. Runner being waved around. The throw home is not going to be in time. Five to one on the RBI single. Burns to the set. And this is hit into right center. That drops down, and another Sudbury run is going to come around to score. Sudbury took the game 7-1. Bobby Peterson gets the win while Nick Burns the loss. For Sudbury, Kieran Pathak went 2-3 for three with two runs and two RBIs. Matt Broadbent went 2-4 for four with two runs and an RBI. For Ashland, Brendan Wolf was 1-3 for three with a run and a stolen base. Ashland then played a third straight home game against Lowell. For the second straight time, Ashland drew first blood in the bottom of the first. Off of seconds, Abbo delivers. This is hit in the air to right center. That'll drop down for a base hit. Runner being waved around. The throw is going to be cut off by the pitcher, and it's 1 0 Ashland. An RBI single for Nick Porter. And the loss to Medford. Delivery. This is hit in the air towards center field, and it'll drop down. One Ashland run is in. And it's a 2-0 game, an RBI single for Greg Holler. But with the bases loaded on the top of the second, Henry Fanaro did this for Lowell. Open to the set. This is hit in the air towards deep center field, towards the wall, and that'll drop in front of Kime. Already one run around a score, another run around a score. That's three runs now. And this is going to be an overthrow past third base. And Fanaro is going to come around to score on the overthrow. It's a four-run play 
84, post 87, and it's 4 to 2. Ashland falls 6 to 4 to Lowell and to 1 and 3 on the season. Dan Zabo got the win, Jake Obid the loss, Matt Smith the save. Henry Fanaro went 1 for 2 with a walk, a run, and 4 RBIs, which all came on the second inning hit. Mitch Porter was a stud at the plate for Ashland, going 3 for 3 with a run. A steal-happy Ashland post-77 was caught stealing four times in this game. Ashland continues the season with a pair of home games next week.